Indian Forces Personnel and dreaded National Investigation Agency continue massive crackdown in different districts of the occupied Kashmir, subjecting the residents to severe harassment. Indian Army, paramilitary and police personnel and NIA sleuths launched a violent crackdown in Shopian, Kulgam, Islamabad and Pulwama district of the South Kashmir after the injuring of three non-local laborers in the Shopian district. Senior leader of the Indian National Congress in Occupied Kashmir, Professor Saifuddin Soz, has said that the Kashmiris will never ever accept the 5th August 2019 illegal and unconstitutional actions of the Narendra Modi-led Indian government. Professor Saifuddin, in a statement in Srinagar, said the Kashmiri people have made it clear that the ordinance issued by the Indian government on 5th August 2019 which repealed the special status of occupied Jammu and Kashmir was illegal and unconstitutional. Tall claims made by Narendra Modi-led Indian government about the creation of jobs in the occupied Kashmir at the time of the repeal of its special status have proved to be a hoax as nearly 8 lakh youth registered at the Directorate of Employment, including 2 lakh educated individuals are unemployed. The data revealed by the Public Information Officer at the Directorate of Employment in a reply to Right to Self to Information application revealed that there were nearly 8 lakh unemployed individuals registered with the organization. Five Hindu Amarnath Yatris died in the last two days taking the death toll during this year's Yatra to 24. According to Kashmir Media Service, the official said that these five victims also included a sadhu and an Indo-border police officer posted on the Yatra duty. Chairman Kashmir Council Europe Ali Raza Sayyid has urged France to ask India to end human rights violations in the occupied Kashmir and give the Kashmiris their right to self-determination. Family members and the relatives of a youth who was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Bandipura district held a protest demonstration seeking a thorough probe into his death. The 26-year-old youth named as Junaid Baba was found dead with torture marks on his body. Protest demonstrations were held in different areas of the occupied Kashmir against the anti-people policies of the authorities. The farmers assembled in the Samba district and strongly protested against the authorities' failure to provide power supply for running their agricultural pump sets. President of All India United Democratic Front Badruddin Ajmal has said that the Uniform Civil Code will result in the overthrow of the Narendra Modi-led BJP government. The Indian Lok Sabha member from Assam asserted that other northeastern states have rejected the UCC. Where will the government put the UCC into practice?